You're watching Sky News, bringing you all the weekend news and sport in 15 minutes, every 15 minutes. Jackson Paternity Claim, the former child star Mark Lester says he's the real father of the singer's daughter. Thanks, Eamon. The original Freedom of Information request to disclose the details of MPs' expenses was made in January 2005 by journalists from the Sunday Telegraph and the Sunday Times. Well, we can now talk live to the Immigration Minister, Phil Woolis. He joins me from Manchester. It's all very well you saying that there's a major loophole in Britain and the student visa system has a problem. There's, you've made changes now, but the damage is already done, isn't it? Very much indeed. Right, coming to some breaking news now. We're hearing from Sky sources that a light aircraft near Petersfield in Hampshire has crashed. We understand that two people were reported to be on board the aircraft and uh, it's being assisted at uh, this rescue operation by two Coast Guard rescue helicopters. Well, to London's leading index of shares and the FTSE 100 is closed down 0.45%. Equity markets are very quiet, as you would expect on a Friday. Not a huge amount of volumes traded. And to Wall Street and the Dow Jones Industrial Average is trading slightly lower at 0.22%. Live from the Sky News Centre, this is Sky News with Asha Tanner. Good morning, you're watching Sky News. It's Sunday the 20th of September. Our top story today. The main parties are embroiled in a furious row about what tax rates they'd have to impose after the next election. A quick reminder as to why the rules came into place. A day after the terror plot gang were arrested, a complete ban on liquids were brought in on the 10th of August 2006. At the time, we were told it was for security measures. They've now been relaxed. Now, the current state of rules say that travellers can bring on a 100 millilitre container onto the flight, but they must all fit into a resealable plastic bag, just like this one here. This is the Albion. It's one of the casualties of the recession. As you can see, the, the windows are boarded up. It's been on the market for about a year. Now, as you said, the British Beer and Pub Association has said that 40 pubs a week and around about nine high street bars are closing every week. And some of the factors that it's pointing towards are the economic downturn, people aren't going out as much, they're spending less money. Also, the smoking ban, the change in licensing laws, the increase in tax on alcohol, and obviously supermarkets offering a very competitive, cheap price compared to um, local pubs. Not all doom and gloom, quite rightly, as you said. Just up the road here, there are two other pubs. We've got the Rocket on the right-hand side, and behind me, we have the Station House. Now, both of these pubs are gastro pubs. The association says these sorts of businesses are able to be more resilient in a recession because their focus is less on alcohol and more on food. So the advice really for landlords are if they want to keep their doors open and not to call time permanently, they're to rethink their business strategy. Actually, what will happen when she arrives? I think you said when she's due to arrive, Charlie. Well, she is expected when, within the next hour. None of her family are due to arrive at the airport to greet her, but she has been travelling with the British ambassador, Quinton Quayle, and a number of other British diplomats. And as you said, her case has caused uh, a lot of attention within the media because drug trafficking in Laos, the communist state, they take a hardline uh, stance there. The excitement is building here at uh, SW19, and of course Andy Murray could be making a historic move, potentially tomorrow towards a final. But with that comes great expectation. Now, there are no centre court tickets available, but that hasn't stopped fans queuing overnight. And one of those fans was Ross Walker. He's been coming to Wimbledon for 21 years. He braved the rain, was there last night at 10 o'clock. Why did you do it? Uh, because it's my patriotic duty. Henman Hill, it could be now Murray, Murray Mound. What's the atmosphere like up there? It is absolutely electric. Now, the bookies have actually um, offered odds of three to one on Murray beating Roddick. Do you think he's got it? Do you think he can do it? Um, no doubt. Uh, if Roddick wins a set, he'll be lucky today. Absolutely. Now, there are a lot of Americans in the, in the queue today. They're obviously going to be cheering on Roddick. You're doing your bit for Britain. Well, we try. Did it take you long to get dressed this morning? Uh, it took a little bit of time. OK, Ross, thanks very much. Well, tickets are expected to sell like hotcakes. The mound can only hold a capacity of 3,000, so potentially Court 2 might put a screen up to see the battle of the two Andes. Back to you guys. Yes, huge relief here at the family home in Muswell Hill. Jamie's mother, Jean, said that she's had many sleepless nights over the last two weeks, but she never 
gave up hope. She got the phone call at three o'clock this morning where she spoke to her son. She didn't cry, but she said that she heard in her son's voice huge emotion. He was terribly exhausted. She then rang the rest of the family. Caroline, her sister, she says has been a tower of strength. Well, the reaction so far from John Whittingdale, he's the chairman of the uh, Commons Media Select Committee, has been one of surprise if these allegations are true. He said that uh, it will consider these alleged revelations when it meets on Thursday.